Depression is the second leading cause of disability worldwide. The two most common forms are unipolar and bipolar depression. Even though these look similar clinically, treatments for unipolar depression can dangerously destabilize bipolar depression into a mixed state. Tremendous advances in directly visualizing brain function could eliminate uncertainty regarding the neurobiology underpinning a patient's depression, allowing safe and definitive treatment. SPECT is one such technology, but how does it work? After injecting a radioactive tracer, we essentially get a Polaroid snapshot of regional activity within the brain. For instance, compared with a normal brain, an active alcohol user's brain shows significantly decreased activity throughout the cortex. The camera used to record SPECT images is a three-headed gamma camera which recreates an image of brain activity in three-dimensional space. The lenses that we have on the collimator are ideal for imaging. The isotope that we're using is ideal as well too. The setup with the three heads on the camera allow for excellent resolution and camera and patient capabilities. It, it produces the most ideal scan when you're thinking about brain scans in general. What does depression look like in the living brain? Data displayed in continuous or discrete scales in color or black and white maximize detection of important findings and allows the reader to eliminate false positives. In the normal brain, the cerebellum has the most active neurons. In unipolar depression, there may be increased activation in the basal ganglia on both sides and in the thalamus. Bipolar depression may appear as widespread increased activity, and yet, symptomatically, these two patients may be indistinguishable. Defining individual neurobiology may critically guide treatment in these situations.